This is ZNS Total Sports. Welcome to sports, everybody. The Bahamas Bowling Federation's national team trials closing out yesterday at Mario's. On the men's side, David Slatter took home the top spot with 3,994 pins and a 200 average. Lee Davis in second, a 198 average. Also in the top six, Kevin B. Williams, Sonneth Lockhart, Tyro Knowles, and Mario Brown. On the ladies' side, Driscoll Roll led all bowlers with a 204 average. Joy Lockhart, Janice Hoyt, the Broadcasting Corporation's own Kayla Nixon, Tara Kulmar, and Camille Burnside rounding out those last five spots. Some new rules being implemented for Davis Cup this year and the Bahamas will be affected. The draw will be held February 5th and depending who's the host country, um, if we are the host country we have the choice of brand either to play here or to play away. If the other opponent decides to play in September then we would have to play in September. We have a rule that says um, the top two finishers in the Giorgio Baldassi would be selected and we will have another trial to select the third to fifth players. The Robins Volleyball Association hosting its all-star festivities yesterday at the Donald Davis Gym. The best of the best going head to head. Most of these players uh, represent really the national team uh, at different points in time. And, um, you know, this is just their time now to just have fun playing with each other instead of against each other. These guys love volleyball and, they, and this is what they love to do. They like to play uh, and be aggressive on the court and, and it's out there to win. They're, they're not just out there to have fun. They're also going to uh, try to beat each other uh, into the ground. The Gold Cup will take place February 7th through the 9th in Abaco. The Nassau Darts Association will be represented. Traveling is very expensive and we try our best, you know, like we do little small little fundraisers, like a little in-house raffle, raise one dollar here and there, but we're really looking for the public to help us out. And everybody don't know about darts, but darts is here. The collegiate indoor track and field season in full swing over the weekend at the McNeese State Invitational. Southeast Louisiana's Cliff Reese winning the man's 200 meters in 21.42. His teammate at Andrews native Donovan Store also in that event finishing third in 21.60. Store lining up for the 400 as well. He was victorious there in 48.31. Meantime at the Indiana Relays, Giles Eddian. Defending his home turf for the Hoosiers, he won the man's high jump with a clearance of 6 feet 9 inches. The University of the Bahamas holding a Northern Ireland recruiting exercise over the weekend at St. George's in Grand Bahama. Student athletes from that island along with Abaco and Bimini taking part. Assistant coach for the men's soccer team, Harvey Mullings, working out with about a dozen young men. After a quick warm-up and run, they went through drills and a short scrimmage to show off their skills. They touch is pretty good. I saw the energy that they bring to the practice and I, for sure, I saw the passion and love for it and I can guarantee that as they're looking forward, I'll see them in Mingo's uniform for, the, for next year. I saw the, um, the build, the shape, the size, uh, you know, for, they look like soccer players and you know, and they really put the, uh, the energy into it. Almost two dozen made it to the men's basketball team tryouts. Head coach Bacchus Roll held a short meeting to talk about the program before hitting the court for warm-ups and a stretch. From there, players went into shooting drills with a lot of endurance work in between. One or two on the class one really caught my eye. Uh, one of, and of definitely at least two 12th graders. Uh, very, very impressive. Got a little bit of size, got some pretty good shooters. From the NBA, Buddy Heal with 16 points and 5 assists yesterday, but the Sacramento Kings went down 122-108 as they ended a 6-game road trip in L.A. against the Clippers. Buddy also receiving some good news over the weekend as he will be a part of the 3-point shootout at All-Star Weekend in Charlotte on February 16th. Former player Osmond Goose Lockhart also with some good news. He will be honored as a Harlem Globetrotter legend on March 30th in Minnesota, the state which he played college basketball. This is the team's highest honor short of jersey retirement as all part of the Globetrotter's 2019 tour. 
Lockhart had a 17-year career with the team and will be one of only 32 to ever receive a Legends ring. The playoffs right around the corner in the BAISS private school basketball season. The Queens College Commons Junior Boys looking to win it all. We have some unfinished business in the playoffs. Uh, that's, that's definitely, we, we felt that we had a good team last year. We felt that we should have won. Um, and this year we just came back with a renewed focus. And I think the boys are you know, on the right track in terms of their mental focus towards the postseason. We're taking everybody as a threat. You know, everybody has a good team. Everybody's put in the work. And so we just want to go there and, and, and just sort of be put in a little bit more work than the other teams. The Bahamas Scholastic Athletic Association also winding down its basketball season. It's been a rocky road so far for the Cherub Christian senior boys. All I wanted them to do is just stay focused, stay together. No grumbling, no complaining, no pointing no finger, but no referee. Let's just play together. Get down. As long as they come out and they give me that effort, that's what I find with that win-lose. They just give me that effort and good sportsmanship. Taking it one game at a time, and defense is key. And we're looking to go into the playoff and surprise everybody. And that will do it for sports. But stay tuned. The Bahamas tonight comes back after the break. This is ZNS Total Sports.